So even after last week, it wasn't enough hiking, I decided, you know what, I think I like it. Don't actually, but I think I do. So yeah, uh, Mr. Shane Bloom, Mr. Everson, Mr. Danson, Mr. Nick. We are on the way to a very, very beautiful spot in the Dingle Peninsula. I have not been to this side of it before, so it's virgin territory for me. I've been to the other side of it, but you'll see what it is soon enough when we start on the hike. So let's go. Right, so in a slight change to plan, um, we decided that Maz could have gone up where he wanted to go and myself, Mr. Shane Bloom and N Nigel is down here, have come to a very much so favourite spot of mine which is Claher Beach. And right now we're getting some beautiful wave action as well now that's coming in here. The sun is above a set of clouds right now, but I know there's going to be more clouds coming which is going to diffuse that and hopefully give us some light rays as well as they come down. But the waves here are monstrous and they're rolling in as well superbly. Now, I'm set up here with my long lens and I'm taking a shot out looking at on Farmarov with there's a rock at the front and the waves, oh, oh, the waves crash against that and they go right up into the air. So I'm going to be going for fast shutters on that. Additionally, as the waves are coming through, they're rolling and the wind that we have is catching and topping the waves off and you're getting these wild horses coming out the back of it. It looks fantastic. So I'm going to oh, crack on here because I'm seeing some great shots when I'm talking to you. I'll check back in again. I'm going to grab some and then I'll tell you what I've done at that stage. I've now come down onto the beach and when I come onto the beach you get a different perspective here of these incredible waves. It also makes them seem a lot bigger as well within the frame. Now the key thing for me here is to make sure I just wait for the light. Now the light is great but it's out on the islands, there's no real light hitting what I want to shoot. I did get some nice shots as well of the water breaking over here on the rocks to the left but yeah it's going to be great. I know the light's going to come, it's just a matter of waiting. I'll give you a look at what I have now, check back in again as the light gets even better. Again, as always, fingers crossed. We are certainly being teased by the light here today. The clouds are moving quite quickly. I don't know if you can see them or not here. Yeah, you probably can. They're moving quite quickly around and the light is dancing, but all out on, on Farm Arav. There's nothing really coming in towards what we want, which is on that rock outside, but there are some incredible waves that are coming through. I'm taking shots here and I haven't changed my composition since I moved down to the beach. And there's waves coming across the scene that are actually blocking the view 
of on Farm Arav. They're that big. And with the wind as well, then it's topping those waves and you're getting this beautiful crest off the back of it. Now, as I speak, the light does seem to be changing, but it's been teasing me for a while. It hasn't um, hit what I wanted to hit. And I'd love for it just to hit that rock and then that really lift those waves. As it stands right now, it's nice because there's separation there in the background, but still, I'm hopeful that it will catch the light. The sun is uh, maybe going to give a nice ray or glow as well. I did get some light rays that went across the scene. Um, now I'm looking out here when I'm talking to you, so that's why it's not right, but yeah, I think it's going to be insane. I'll give you a look now at what I have at this point in time. And we're still nowhere near the good light, and I think we are gonna get the good light. So yeah, I'm delighted now that we decide to come here because these waves and this wind is insane. Now the strangest thing is actually that behind me here we have clear blue skies almost but out in this direction which is where I'm shooting we have huge amounts of atmosphere and depth in the clouds and light rays galore. Now with the waves as well they are pretty immense and I've gone over to this side actually a moment ago here uh, just to see what the guys were doing and I wanted to kind of you know see was I missing out on anything and in fairness now Michael has got some you know pretty cool compositions and as I speak now I'm getting light so I want to make sure I'm grabbing this got some pretty cool compositions so I said okay you know what I'm going to give that a look and give that a go now I'm back over again now here to me on my um, better composition because you can frame on far more of with the headland, the one that's closest on the right, and then the one that's over on the left. And as I'm doing that now, the light rays here are just streaming in. All I have to do now is wait for a wave, and when a wave comes through then, I'm going to grab that shot. Now, with the clouds as well, there's a big gap all the way above me, um, as I nearly fall over the rocks. There's a big gap all the way above me here. You can see the blue that's there, and on this side as well. So. If we get something out there, I think it will be insane. Already it's insane, but I'm hopeful now to get that golden glow as it comes closer to sunset. The guys seem to be enjoying it anyway. The wave action is immense. Um, Maz has gone up to the other area that we were going to go to first. There's one shot he wanted to get there, and I'm sure it's going to be epic for him as well because today's conditions are ideal with the fleeting light and no rain. So. Yeah, I'll give you a look at what I would have done over here anyway a moment ago with that composition. And now I'm back to here as well and hopefully we'll get some more as well for that. So after waiting for like three hours for the best of the light, I got a distressed call from Maz. <laughs> Please come and get me. So I had to go and get him. And guess what? When I went to get him. The light came out. The light came. 
LA game. But I'm still happy with the shots that we got. Those waves were absolutely insane. Yeah, I didn't get the beautiful light, but they're still even cresting in front of us here, and it's not even at high tide. So, yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the adventure with me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, when Maz hopefully won't stop me from getting the like. That was one big wave right there. That was small, man. <laughs> that was small compared to what we got. Schlong before.